these scenes reignited a decades-old war between Armenia and Azerbaijan and led to one of the defining conflicts of 2020. Armenia has long shown hostile acts of aggression against Azerbaijan in the Nagorno-Karabakh region, which it illegally occupied in 1991, and is internationally recognized as Azerbaijani territory. In September 2020, Armenia triggered a war in the region after clashing with Azerbaijani forces and targeting civilian areas. Armenian forces fired on civilian settlements and military positions from several directions, using various types of weaponry, including heavy artillery. This would become an Armenian strategy to deter the advance of Azerbaijani forces over the next couple of weeks. And then, the whole world watched as the tide of the war changed decisively for an Azerbaijani victory, and it was built upon a key weapon in Azerbaijan's arsenal, Turkish-made drones. The drones quickly made traditional war tactics useless. Using the drones as its decisive edge, Azerbaijan advanced and continued to free territories in the occupied region, destroying Armenian military convoys, armored vehicles, ammunition depots, missile systems, mortar firing points, and other strategic infrastructure. How many Turkish drones are you deploying? <laughs> we have enough in order to achieve our targets. I, I think that you can understand me that this is information which I prefer not to disclose. But are they making the difference in this conflict? Uh, of course, they are very uh, modern, sophisticated uh, weapons. And I can tell you only by the drones which we acquired from Turkey, we destroyed Armenian uh, military equipment worth $1 billion. Only by the drones. The goal of dropping its dependence on foreign defense spending has triggered unprecedented innovations in Turkish defense technology. Its drone program has especially proven successful in many conflict areas. Here's what defense analyst Elizabeth Braw had to say about Turkey's TB2 drones. It proved its worth in, in the conflict between uh, Armenia and Azerbaijan. And, and so um, now other countries are looking at it. So and why does it matter that it's cheap? Well, that means that, that the country using it uh, can afford to lose a few of these. And, and it's, it's a matter of a, a fraction of the cost compared to the drones that have been in use so far. The TB2 drones have seen use in Syria, Iraq, Libya, and against the PKK alongside other countries. But it was the conflict in Azerbaijan which showed just how the drones performed in a one-on-one -on -one war. And the success has made countries such as the UK want to learn from Turkey's drone program and potentially launch similar programs. Recent reports in the British press highlighting the success of Turkey's drones have been focused on their cost-effectiveness and tactical aspects. Turkey has domestically produced multiple drones, and its most prominent models include the Anka, Bayraktar TB2, and the Bayraktar Akınca, which are produced by Baykar and Turkish Aerospace Industries. The Anka is 8.6 meters long and has a wingspan of over 17 meters, and can fly non-stop for 24 hours in any weather condition. The Akınca and TB2 also have similar capabilities, and they all provide long-endurance surveillance, reconnaissance, and firepower. The Anka, developed by Turkish Aerospace Industries, is of an operative class. It's like a larger one, uh, being able to carry uh, multiple sensors at the same time. Uh, and it's like, uh, it's the higher end of the spectrum. Whereas Bayraktar is uh, between tactical and operative class UAV. It can carry uh, two or four guided munitions. Also, Anka has, is capable of carrying uh, wep guided weapons and uh, the, the, the two types complement each other. Turkey's capabilities on the field is constantly growing, and it's closer to eliminating foreign dependence in its defense industry, which is making traditional powers and adversaries sit up and take notice of the changing power dynamics. But Turkish drone manufacturers are not stopping there. They've set their sights on developing other projects with even more advanced capabilities. Hemen kısa süre sonra onun ilk uçuşu var. Sonra da 2023'e kadar insansız savaş uçağı var. Bakalım onlar ne zaman uçacak? <gülüyor>